Señores y señores, ahora me acompaña el cantante del grupo Red Carpet Rats. Yes. Almost forgot. <laughs> And we just watched the music video um, Photographic Memories? Yes. Oh, yes. I remember. Yeah. Um, so tell me the concept behind that video because it's kind of like what is happening today in the world, unfortunately. Yeah, it, um, well, it, it kind of has a CSI kind of feel. Mm -hmm. um, And it was, the song necessarily wasn't about this, but the video kind of worked out, <coughs> excuse me, to, so it was more almost like a domestic violence kind mm -hmm. of thing, uh, which that was the director's idea, Jeff Steinborn, he came up mm -hmm. with this brilliant idea to do that and then, you know, uh, bring in like the police uh, cameras and things like that, um, which we thought was a cool idea, because mm -hmm. like you said, it, those are, you know, it is a, a topic that is very relevant today. Yeah. And it did work with the song. Um, mm -hmm. So we were we were very excited and uh, very happy with the concept. I thought it was very interesting, especially how they used the frames. Yes. Like, where'd they hang it from? Y yes, actually, <laughs> actually, I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, they're, yeah, they're, they were hung uh, from scaffold, which you, which you, you can't tell, hopefully. No, you um, can. I yeah. was like, they're like suspended on the air yes. or something. Yeah, yeah, and and when when we were filming. Uh, the camera would be, you know, kind of in between, and so I had to, um, you know, kind of look through the, look through, through, the look frame. through each frame uh -huh. and make sure, you know, I was set up right. As I'm walking down the hill, and it was, you know, we were in this huge field mm -hmm. uh, about uh, 30 miles outside of Nashville. That's and cool. It was the hottest day of the year. The hottest. It was the hottest oh, day of the goodness. year. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it was so hot. And we had no, there was no shade because it was mm -hmm. just a field. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was tough. It was a tough shoot, but it was, it was a lot of fun, and we were really, we were really happy with the end result. Wow, that's great. I really loved it, and it, it's almost made me cry. You know, uh, so but it's a great song, and I, I love the arti artistic element of it. Thank you. So as a producer, I, you know, oh, I have a different great. point of view yes, of yes. looking at videos than maybe other people. So. He's the singer of the band, obviously, you, you know, you saw the video. Um, but you are from a Spanish background. How come you speak Spanish? I know, I know. Well, it's, it's something I'm, I'm, I'm actually working on. Um, my Spanish is not, uh, my family's uh, from Spain, but I do not speak Spanish. Um, <laughs> He's right lying, now, he knows, you know. When I come back next year, <laughs> the next time I'm back, I promise you, I will be able to, I will be able to speak much better. Okay, so um, the the band name Red Carpet Rats. Why that name? Where it came from? Well, it's it, from a few things actually. Um, there was a review that we saw in um, online, which talked about a hotel that had rats in it, and <laughs> it, it, it had it had a, a red carpet in the hotel. Uh -huh. um, so we kind of put that together, and just I, I just wanted a name. Uh, I wanted a very visual name. Mm -hmm. And I thought that kind of bringing those two elements together, red carpets and rats, mm -hmm. was, was visual. So, and, and also, too, it, it kind of it shortens to RCR, so people can call us that, too. That's pretty cool. Um, who put the band together? Actually, uh, myself and McCabe, who mm -hmm. is the guitar player and the producer mm -hmm. uh, of the band, uh, we put the band together. Uh, we were both living, he was living in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and I put an ad in a magazine up there, and he answered, and here we are. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, one of the guys is from North Carolina. Yes, yes. How did he find out about the band? He put an ad out. Um, it's the miracle of the internet. He put something <laughs> up. A, there's a musician, you know, there's musician boards all over saying, you know, uh -huh. bass player looking for band, guitarist looking for band. And he put one up, bass player looking for band, and our drummer actually found him. And call, we called him and, you know, had a few conversations on the phone. Uh -huh. And we, he came out and spent like a weekend out here and then two weeks later packed up all his stuff and moved out. Moved to Nashville. Yes. That's so wonderful. Yes. Uh, my eyes are crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me about the creation of the song Go For Mexi Mexico which has some Spanish yes. songs, no songs, but a Spanish uh, words to it. Yes. Even though you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually remind me of a no song. Yeah. Uh, over the over da. Tell me about it. It well, that's something that McCabe and I wrote. Uh, we actually wrote it in Arizona. Mm -hmm. So it, we were in the Southwest, and it had you know we were 
had, had kind of a has kind of a southwestern feel, mm -hmm. and we, we wanted a it's a tequila drinking party song that mm -hmm. can go on forever if we need to. Big crowd sing along, um, and we wanted to, we wanted a song that we had a good time with. You know, something That's that, because cool. some of our songs are, are, you know, more serious topics, what mm -hmm. have you. And we wanted something that you could just, just let your hair down and dance. That's cool. I really like the feeling of it. Cool. It was very, very refreshing. What is next for the band in, in the short term, term and in long term? Okay, well, in the short term, uh, it looks like we're going to spend the winter uh, playing in the Virgin Islands. Very cool. Yes, yes, which would be um, which would be excellent. Uh, I could think of no better no better place to be in January when it's mm -hmm. freezing um, than to be in the Virgin Islands. So we're actually uh, we're going down in October mm -hmm. uh, to play for a week, and then uh, looks like we're going back uh, December through March for the winter season. Wow, that so, is wonderful. So that'll be, wonderful. Yeah, that'll be a great uh, great time and um, something that. It'll be an experience. It'll be an experience. I bet. I mean, it's going to be hot down there, yeah. you know, so you, yes. you, you're going to enjoy it. I hope I'm so. sure. So you and McGavi yes. are owners of a record label. Yes, yes. How did that come about and any plans to sign up any Latino artists or other artists? Absolutely. <laughs> well, we, uh, we started our own label uh, basically because we thought that we thought we knew what we were doing. Um, we thought, <laughs> like everybody else. Right, exactly. <laughs> so we, we thought we could do it. And, um, you know, we believe that, that if, we, if you have a good product and mm -hmm. uh, you market it wisely and, and you mm -hmm. get uh, get involved with the right people, mm -hmm. that it's possible. So that's what we've done. And we actually have distribution now through Universal, mm -hmm. which is a major uh, distributor. And right now the Red Carpet Rats are the only band on the, on the roster, but mm -hmm. we are looking to always looking for new acts mm -hmm. uh, so if, if you're out there and you, you got something please send it to us at Chauffeur Records definitely okay there you go Latinos anoten yes. lápiz y papel <laughs> 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 bueno muchísimas gracias por estar aquí conmigo en el programa thank you so much see I trick you <laughs> 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 thank you so much for being here with me in the show well thank you for having me Amigos, no le cambien porque ahora les traigo aquí la presentación privada para Sheila. Seguimos con más. on a senorita But she swatted me away like I was a mosquito So I ordered me up a double margarita And forgot about her in Este video musical casi me hizo llorar porque esas cosas pasan hoy en día por desgracia muy seguido. Eso es todo por hoy en Spanish TV, pero recuerden que de visitarnos en nuestra página web y ver todo allí lo que se perdió. También puede, nos puede seguir en Twitter, en Facebook y en YouTube. Allí lo puede ver todo, todo, todo. Así que nos vemos el próximo sábado. Yo soy Sheila Pasix. Chao.